Before we begin, I want to say to you, the class of 2020, you made it, right? Give yourselves a hand. How many times have you heard the words, we're living in extraordinary times? Right? But it's true, isn't it? This is all just a little bit strange and wonderful. So I also want to say hi through TV land to all of your parents who are down the road. So it's good to have you with us in that way. I want to ask you guys to grab the bulletins that are there right by you. Open to that first page. In many respects, what we're doing here together tonight is we're having the last chapel service that you will ever have as a Cassidy student. And so let's sing songs, let's read scripture, let's talk about meaningful things, and let's do that together. Let's sing together hymn 686, Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. Come thou fount of every blessing, tune my heart to sing thy grace. Streams of mercy never ceasing, call for songs of loudest praise. Teach me some melodious sonnet, sung by flaming tongues above. Praise the Fix me on it, mount of thy redeeming love. Here I find my greatest treasure, hither by thy help I come, and I hold by thy good safely to arrive at home. Jesus sought me when a stranger, wandering from the fold of God, he to rescue me from danger, interposed his precious Oh, to grace, how great a debtor, daily I'm constrained to be. Let thy goodness, like a feather, bind my wandering heart to be. Prone to leave the God I live in, prone to leave the God I love. Here's my heart. Take and seal it, seal it for thy courts. Amen. Seniors, remove your caps and please have a seat. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I've set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not fall. O oh God, make speed to save us. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Irene. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness, righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. You prepare, oh, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely the goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born, and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek, and a time to lose a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. What gain have the workers from their toil? I have seen the business that God has given to everyone to be busy with. He has made everything suitable for its time. Moreover, he has put a sense of past and future into their minds, yet they cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. I know that there is nothing better for them than to be happy and enjoy themselves as long as they live. Moreover, it is God's gift that all should eat and drink and take pleasure in all their toil. I know that whatever God does endures forever. Nothing can be added to it, nor anything taken from it. God has done this so that all should stand in awe before him. That which is already has been. That which is to be already is. And God seeks out what has gone by. Here in the lesson. A reading from Luke chapter 12. He said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, don't worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothing. Consider the ravens. They neither sow nor reap. They have neither storehouse nor barn, and yet God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? And can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your span of life? And if then are you not able to do so small a thing as that, Why do you worry about the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow, is thrown into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, you of little faith? And do not keep striving for what you are to eat and what you are to drink, and don't keep worrying. For it's the nations of the world that strive after all these things. And your father knows that you need them. Instead, strive for his kingdom, and these things will be given to you as well. Don't be afraid, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give alms. Make purses for yourselves that do not wear out, an unfailing treasure in heaven, where no thief comes near and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart is also. Here ends the lesson.
ask you now to please stand, and we're going to sing together hymn number 488, Be Thou My Vision. Please be seated. Board Chair, Mrs. English, trustees, Mr. Sheldon, faculty, staff, parents, grandparents, siblings, family, friends, and the class of 2020. It is an honor and a privilege to share this time with you, although it doesn't much resemble the gathering we all envisioned. In years past, this chapel would be filled to overflowing with family and trustees and faculty and this graduating class. Six months ago, none of us would have imagined this baccalaureate service would be a hybrid of sorts. Graduating seniors properly social distance, minimal representation by trustees and faculty, and family and friends at a satellite location watching virtually. For many of us, it seems like everything we do these days is virtually. For those watching virtually, we welcome you, and I'm sure you would all rather be here in person but I know your students feel your presence, if not physically, spiritually. Many of you may be feeling a little sense of uncertainty. You began this year with the anticipation of all that it means to be a senior. Persevering, persevering through the demands of your studies, 
looking forward to the final year of your chosen sporting competitions, planning the rites of passage that all seniors enjoy. You know the ones I mean. Only to find yourself finishing your studies in online classrooms, sporting events canceled, and those rites of passage left as images of what could have been. I'm aware that many of you still live in the uncertainty of wonder whether you will actually be on the campus of your chosen college or university in the fall when classes begin. How many of you are wondering what could happen next? The truth is you met the challenges placed before you. And no matter the burden that was there, you succeeded. You persevered and adapted, focused on the goal of graduation before you. And today you are here. Well done. For years, it's been a tradition at Cassidy School to include this reading of scripture from Ecclesiastes. For everything, there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. I was visiting with your school chaplain, Father Tim Sean Newmans, recently, and he pointed out an interesting observation about this graduating class. Many of you were born in the shadows of 9-11, and today you are graduating in the shadows of a world pandemic and social cries for justice. If there ever were a graduating class that can relate to these words from scripture, for everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, you would fill that role. My friends, you have been born into and are embarking into a world where the seasons of life and reality are colliding in extraordinary ways. The challenges that wait before you are palpable and the opportunities are unending. I'm aware that some of you attended the rally at 36th in class and a little over a week ago in response to the death of George Floyd. Now, I'm not privy to your reasons or your political positions, your ideas around social justice, and that doesn't really matter. But what I want to say is I'm proud of your courage to be present. Instead of being a bystander, you chose to participate. And whatever your motivations, your actions say to me and to the world that you care, that you're invested in the world to which all of us are living out our lives. Without a doubt, the words of scripture we heard today are coming alive. There is a time to keep silent and a time to speak. And now is a time to speak. A time to speak truth. A time to listen and to hear in new ways. To set aside our prejudices and agendas and to listen with gracious and learning hearts. A time to embrace. This is not about us hugging each other and singing kumbaya. It's not about superficial gestures of harmony 
without true depth of the purpose. This is a time to fully embrace the reality of the time in which we find ourselves and allowing ourselves to be vulnerable enough and courageous enough to affect the changes that will embrace all people of this earth. A time to love and a time to hate. My friends, I'm just a little worn down by the hate and divisions and injustices of our world. And I would suspect that many of you are as well. If there has ever been a generation that at its core identity truly embodies the words of Martin Luther King when he said, I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they are not judged by the color of their skin, but, but by the content of their character. You are that generation. You are the generation that can move the words from our Declaration of Independence that all people are created equal, from a piece of parchment paper on display in a museum to a lived reality in our world. In a time for peace, now is the time to seek peace, where no one lives in fear, where all people have the opportunity to be whatever it is God intended for them to be, where neighbor reaches out to neighbor, where the hungry are fed and the homeless are housed, and the lost and broken among us are cared for without judgment or ridicule or disdain. George Bernard Shaw once said, and I'm paraphrasing, some people see things as they are and ask why. I dream things that never were and ask, why not? My friends, the class of 2020, don't settle for the way things are. Dare to ask, why not? Dare to dream. And then dare the world to stop you from living that dream. Each of you has been presented a coin this evening. It's on your pews. On one side of that coin, you'll read, the world doesn't have the final say. Each of you has been blessed with an extraordinary beginning in the education you have received and your accomplishments in this place. The foundations for achieving whatever your dream could be have been laid, and it's the launching pad for your future. Some of you may become scientists or doctors and maybe discover the cure for the next pandemic or disease that may strike our society. Some of you may become legal professionals that argue the injustices of our society and bring about good for all people. Some of you may be the teachers that prepare the next generations for the challenges that they will face. And some of you will become fill in the blank. But know this, whatever you become, you will change the world. By your action or your inaction, you will change the world. So be daring, be courageous, be dreamers, because the world doesn't have the final say. You do. I want to close with a word about another season of life. I've had the honor of being the Episcopal Bishop of Oklahoma for the last 13 years. Part of my role as bishop has been to serve this institution as a member of the Board of Trustees and in other peculiar ways. Over the last 13 years, at least most of them, I had the privilege to offer the address at the baccalaureates of the graduating classes. This is my last baccalaureate as bishop at Cassidy School. So I want to say thank you. Thank you to you. Thank you to the Cassidy community for allowing me to have a small part in the life of this school. Over 13 years, some of you 
may be lifers. And though I may not be present every day, I've watched from a distance and I've seen you year by year grow and mature and become the people you are today. And I will always cherish that time that I've had to be here with you. So to the class of 2020, my prayer is that you will be daring in your success, daring in your happiness, and daring in bringing peace and justice to this world. God bless you all. Amen. I'll ask you to stay seated unless you feel moved to kneel. And this is a chance for us to pray together for each other. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show us your mercy, O Lord. Give to your people righteousness. And make their peace joyful. Give peace in our time, O Lord. O Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. 
Let your way be known upon the earth. Saving grace among all nations. Help the needy, O Lord. And give hope to the poor. Cleanse our hearts, O God. And sustain us by your Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Loving, liberating, and life-giving God, we stand in your presence here in this chapel and with those who are watching remotely at home and across the horizon, seeking your blessing for the class of 2020. O oh Lord, their parents and loved ones remember these seniors as infants. Born in the shadows of September 11th, 2001, when the whole world seemed to change, and those tiny faces, they held all of our hopes for the future in a time that felt so uncertain. Over the span of their lives, that hope grew as they grew, as they lived and worked alongside each other, spending days and nights here at Cassidy School, praying together in this chapel in your presence. Lord, they stand ready to cross another threshold. Again, as history seems to do, the world seems uncertain and unknown. God, you have given them through family, mentors, teachers, coaches, and friends so much of what they will need for the next part of their journey. Remind them that they never travel alone. You, O oh God, are their never-failing companion, and you will continue to give them everything that they need to accomplish your purpose for their lives. Like your servants, Abraham and Sarah, you have blessed these young adults. In all of their pursuits, may they find ways to bless others, even as they sense that you know them, each by their name. Amen. Amen. We now want to pray for you each individually by your name. And so as Mr. Halpern and Miss Infantino come, we're going to read your name. And when you hear your name, we want you to stand. And then after seven of you have been announced, I'm going to say, Lord, in your mercy, and we'll all together say, hear our prayer, and then be seated. Jack Howell Abernathy, Arman Agarwal, Laura Christine Al Assad, Miles Andrew Anderson, Tessa Marie Jane Ayers, Lucas Gregory Barrett. Samuel Porte Bass. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jackson Walker Berryman. Peter Cole Berryman. Diane Elaine Bohannon. Julia Duval Bohannon. Benjamin Grant. Coleman, Katrin Elowen Coppinger, Vivian Christine Costello. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Emma Kristen Dahlgren, Lindsay Ha Von Doe, Emma Elise Dorn. William Hayes Dummigan. Irene Catherine Elizabeth Ekman. Caitlin Taylor Farhood. Luke Christopher Foster. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Jonathan Gabriel Gerard. Parker Oaks Gwynn, Yasmin Amanda Hamilton, Isabella Jane Hardridge, Tyler Lawrence Hart, Christopher Mead <coughs> Hendy, Reagan James Heisey. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
Theodore Nathan Jacobson. Amy Elena Jarjura. Sarah Catherine Jarjura. Jacob Henry Johnston. Cooper Mitchell Jones. Samuel Chonyoung Jung. Rumesh Niranjan Castgear. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Tyler Alexa Layson. Caroline Alice Leonard. Jaden Camelia Leidick. Joseph Hurian Manfredo. Nicholas Orion Moore. Sadia Afra Nazir. Elizabeth Caton Nelson. Lord, in your mercy. Your okay. Catherine Donovan Nicaud. Christian Duval Owen. Preston Clint Piercy. John Robert Pippin. Ava Kareen Platt. Aaron Lee Puffenbarger. And Malavika Venkat Rajaram. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Aiden Chandrasekhara Ramana. James Blake Reynolds. Reese Olivia Rhodes. Riley Lee Richardson. Ilsa Risby. Charles Amon Robinson. Joseph Yael Rojo. Joseph Yair Rojo. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Anna Kate Eliza Ross. Vincent Caden Russell. Lucas Kyle Schneider. Robert Aiden Semet. Yusuf Ali Shah. Charles Heath Stanfield. And Margaret Hayes Sullivan. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Elena Lauren Taylor. Caroline Olivia Terrell. Gabriel William Terry. Kendall Ann Terry. Madison Lee Terry. Matias Torres Tono. Olivia Saren Euland. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Dylan Nilesh Vasan. Celine Lankan Vong. Doran Delaney Walters. Hartford Lee Watkins III. Nikki Takahashi Weitzenhofer. Huen Zhu. Noah Seamus Humans. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that where two or more are gathered, you are there also. 
Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world the knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. All right, gang. This is the last time as a Cassidy student that we're going to get to sing the Cassidy hymn together. So please, let's stand. And let's sing it as a prayer. Render to no one evil for evil. Love the Lord your God, love your neighbor, and love yourself. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon each of you this day and forever. Amen. Amen.